Cuba Water Caverns. This is minimize scientist casualties. The Janus Control Center communicates with the Golden Knight weapon systems via a large satellite dish which is usually concealed underwater. The pumps which allow Janus to flood in a communication dish are housed to flood the communication dish are housed in a subterranean cave complex defended by crack Janus troops. Don't jeopardize the mission by going for the man bond. Nobody needs a dead hero. You'll be on your own, but CIA combat support will be waiting. Find a radio and inform Jack Wade of the exact location of the dish and he'll send in the cavalry. The satellite communication dish is exposed. If you remove the water pumps, Janus will be unable to hide it again. Destroy the servo control consoles close to the pumps and be sure to disable the master con console. Doing a spot of splunking. Well, don't mess up your trousers up, James. The innuendo is there. Subterranean caverns. While we're hanging out, why not like and subscribe? And if you haven't already, check out the playlist for GoldenEye 007. All difficulties and more. Oh shit! Oh, it's the butthole doors. I could never remember where I remember those doors from, and it's from this game, apparently. I shot you. And the eye hole. Takes forever to go through. Body armor down there, we'll get that in one second. <coughs> Before I forget, actually, let me go back through and get that armor. Then I can make sure there's no one behind me. Alright, that's you leaving. Got it. It's cool. It's fine. Um, I think it's we gotta blow up the computers uh, on the higher difficulties. Blow up the computers. Uh, minimize scientists. And uh, what's the other thing? Um, oh, and then radio. And then I think maybe even blow up more mainframes. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so... Um, one thing I haven't mentioned is the higher difficulty, the higher the aim sensitivity is for the uh, AI, they get better, more dangerous. Um, and then you get less ammo recovered, which makes sense realistically. It's more of a realistic setting, but yeah. Uh, this is a cool this is a cool thing. Like you wouldn't think like, ooh, a spiral in a cave. What what you know, ooh, spiral mountain, banjo kazooie. No, um, but it, ooh, a spiral, but it's pretty nice! But it isn't nice. This guy's dead. Everything but that guy. Wow. Someone was coming to that door. Get down there. Go around this side. Can I go through the lockers here? No. There is a secret tunnel. Expect me to 
time through there, did you, you fucking punks? Forgot that was there, my bad. Doors oh, I need a key. Door's locked, so I gotta come back with it. Serpentine code card. It out. I mean, there's always some guys spawning here and there, but we pretty much got everything uh, taken care of. Yeah, you can shoot the glass through. Scientists can't open uh, the doors locked. Pick up body, no. Um, I th think I actually have to go back actually and, and get that, uh, use that code card or whatever. We'll go, the, we'll go the long way. Hopefully we get a few people to shoot, but I really dig this level. It was always a fun one. Like, all the multiplayer levels are great. There were a few that were kind of repetitive. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? But I won't fault him on that. <coughs> no, I, oh, you gotta go around. And what am I missing? And minimize... You know what? I know what I need to do. I think I needed to jump out that window. I think that was it. Because besides shooting, uh, blowing up the terminals, and uh, like uh, another thing of that, <clears throat> I believe that was actually the, uh, the mission. Really, not bad. Sometimes you overthink, and these games are pretty simple. Hey, go from point A to point B, shoot in between, and you know. Really is. Let's see if no. Ah. Uh. Come on, go. Yeah, there you go. Go. Oh, well.
Oh, those boxes don't blow up. I somehow missed a key card. Do I have to go back? Oh, there's no way I missed that one spot. I remember playing multiplayer and the joke was just we'd uh, someone would go to open the door and another person would close it saying, nope, no thanks. Alright, I kept looking at what that was back there, but uh, on the edge of the, the, the railing, but that was a hat, a beret, if you will. Some sort of cap. Um, we've gone there. I'm trying to think what else we're missing. Ooh, ammo. <laughs> We've gone down all the way around to my knowledge. jump there I get all the way down oh boy there's no way I'm I, I had to have missed something earlier on but there's no way that I really don't think I missed a door where I was just at though Here, but <coughs> and there's nothing I missed, it's just yeah, point A to point B. Whoops. Sorry about that, my dude. And then... It's not like... Do I actually have to just come back up this way? Is that really it? It'd be weird if that was honestly it. Me just coming back here. No? This is, I, I have no idea. I'm gonna go through and I'm apparently, I, I'm probably just overlooking something. Uh, um, no, nothing here. I've already gone down to that next section. I've gone down, I made sure everything was blown up. doesn't blow up okay um we went down there those two connect that guy just <gasps> won't run away uh nothing here oh they do have the water changing that's a nice touch <clears throat> isn't that kind of movement kind of Aspect, so it kind of looks, you know, kind of like the Mario Water and Mario World on the Overworld map. <laughs> Music's great, though. I, I, it's a great game. It's a shame we didn't get that Xbox um, Live Arcade remaster. Like they apparently it was a full remaster, and it looks so great, so amazing. Like these textures just need to go through a uh, machine process to uh, upres through a program, and then they look really great. Everything, and then this game would look so much better. But... 
about bros. Like you take a you take a, the original resource and then the, the program recorrects it. I genuinely have no idea. I might have to look up a guide just to see what I'm doing wrong, or more or less what I'm missing. Stuff like this is not what you're uh, what you're doing. It's what you're missing. All right, let's go downstairs. I'll go see the back side. I believe this leads me to here. But you destroy that to lead to that secret area. What happens if we go through the other side? Games is moving faster now. This leads me to the end. I don't know what more I needed to do. Up a Someone play this through and it So apparently the key card's in this room. It's one of the guards guarding the hexagon door. Um, Cause it's not, oh my. Is that supposed to be it, really? No, hold on. It's gonna be one of these guys out here. I just didn't walk against the door or something. That was it. I got excited. Do 
door is locked. in the basement. Oh, okay, hold on. Picked up the key card. Wow, how was I so blind at that? Not this door, is it? Oh, okay, I gotta go. I think I gotta go through the the doors that I was already going through earlier. I was trying to by the uh, radio. I, I pretty much. I believe I have the second key card. I just didn't have the third one. Message from Xbox. Yeah, I don't know why my achievements haven't been popping. I assume Xbox that system's down, but I'm able to play, so there's that, but I don't know. Moment of truth. Yay. was locked. I think that was just to come back, but... So, so, James, yet again. So 58 seconds, 43.5 percent, 9 millimeter ZMG was the weapon of choice. 1,480 shots for 72 kills, 10 percent head hits, 34 percent body hits, 55 percent limb hits, and 2 percent others. Next time, the grand finale for the story, Antenna Cradle. Thank you so much for stopping by and sticking around for so long. It was a pain in the ass, I know, but it was well, well worth it. Until next time, folks. My name is Sothang, and I will see you next time. Bye.